it's sometimes difficult to remember that the Lincoln Memorial Center design is now more than half a century old, despite massive mintage. These coins were not saved and are now condition rarities. The surfaces are brilliant and frosty with rich orange mint color. Marks and spots are absent on this superb gem. It was sold for $8,812.50 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to the 1966 Jefferson nickel in Mint State 65 with full steps. In spite of massive numbers of nickels struck in 1966, very few qualify for the full steps. Fewer than 1 in 150 coins are estimated to have this degree of definition on reverse. The light golden surfaces display silky, satin like mint luster and are free of major abrasions. This extremely rare sharp specimen ended up selling for $11,750 at Heritage Auctions. An error coin, 1970s large date Lincoln sent multi struck on a dime planchette, graded as PR66 Cameo by PCGS. At least three die impressions are discernible around the border legends on this piece, while the central devices are frosty and show no obvious rotation between the strikes. The fields are deeply mirrored and brilliant, providing pleasing cameo contrast. The planchette is well centered in the dies, leaving the rims poorly defined but all legends readable. It was sold for $2640. Here is circulated and harshly cleaned 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter. PCG has assigned extremely fine details for this one. The 1960s is a key to the Standing Liberty Quarter series. The mintage was only 52,000 pieces, executed at the end of the year. Examples of the rare and desirable first-year issue are in demand regardless of condition, and many survivors have indistinct dates. The present example displays luster with the plumage, stars and legends. The subdued silver-gray surfaces are moderately glossy and faintly hair-light. Sold on March 28, 2023 for $6,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1977 D. Lincoln Cent in Mint State 68, red condition. This carbon-free example is almost flawlessly preserved and glows with satiny copper red luster. I appeal far surpasses the typical full red coin from this issue. There is none finer according to PCGS census. Sold for $750 at Heritage Auctions. The 1939 Mercury Dime was minted in Philadelphia, Denver and San Francisco. The coins are made of 90% silver and 10% copper. They weigh 2.5 grams. Overall, the 1939 Mercury Dime is popular collectible among the coin enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate the history and design of this iconic American coin. The value may depend on factors such as rarity of the coin, the condition it is in, and the demand among collectors. This one is in PR68 condition and is deemed relatively rare in this grade. This attractively toned specimen ended up selling for $1260 at Heritage Auctions. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1940 is a rare and valuable error coin in the United States. It's called Reverse of 1940. Because, although it was minted in 1939, it features a reverse design of 1940 Jefferson Nickel. This variety occurred when the reverse die for 1940 Jefferson Nickel was accidentally paired with 1939 of worse die during the mintage process. As a result, the 1939 Nickel has the words Monticello and E Pluribus Unum on the reverse side, which were not supposed to be there until 1940. The error was not caught and an estimated 27,000 coins were minted before the mistake was discovered. Today, the 1939 reverse of 1940 is highly sought after coin by collectors due to its rarity and historical significance. This one is in mid state 67 and it was sold for $216 on March 21, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit thumbs up. Have a nice day.